According to Gail In Context Online Collection, Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, is considered a developmental disability by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, which can affect how one communicates with others and experiences the world. Often, autistic people will have sensitivities to various sensory experiences, such as light, sound, or touch. ASD affects the way a person uses and interprets language and nonverbal forms of communication. Autism spectrum disorder often leads to those affected experiencing narrowed interests, a need for intensive routine in their daily life, a tendency to repeat actions or movements, and difficulty in social situations. However, for most of human history, especially the Middle Ages, autism was completely unknown, with most attributing the symptoms to demonic possession or simple retardation, which often led to harsh treatments and, in some cases, execution. This all changed in the 20th century with the help of a small group of scientists and researchers, Leo Kanner, Hans Asperger, and Lorna Wing. The breakthroughs of the three in the 1950s to 70s helped to further the understanding of autistic people. This, in turn, pushed forward for the acceptance and development of organizations for research and therapy for autism. These advancements have greatly improved the quality of life for people with autism and their families and helped to break through the barriers of misunderstanding that clouded the disorder for hundreds of years. Eugene Bueller, a Swiss psychologist, is believed to be the first to use the word autism as a characterization of multiple people's schizophrenia for their unsociable traits. For around 60 years, autism and schizophrenia were thought to be interlinked or interchangeable. It wasn't until the 1960s that autism was recognized as a disorder separate from schizophrenia. The differentiation of these two disorders have led to a world of understanding, therapy, and massive medical advancement. The journey starts off with Kanner, the first man to propose that autism was separated from schizophrenia. Leo Kanner was born on June 13, 1894, in Klikota, Ukraine. He studied cardiology and psychology and worked many jobs in medicine, including an insane asylum in South Dakota. In 1943, Connor released his most important work, Autistic Disturbances of Effective Contact, which is based upon observations of a small group of children with autistic symptoms, separated autism into its own separate disorder. Notable common symptoms as difficulty interacting with others, profound ability with memory and numbers, and an obsession with repetition and sameness. This definition was one of the first in the field of psychology. Connor also coined the term refrigerator mother theory. The refrigerator mother theory was that autism was caused partially by the affection a mother gave, and that if a mother did not love their child, then the child was at a higher risk of receiving autism. In turn, people started taking autistic children away from their parents, so the child would not receive autism. Connor stated in a later speech that autism was not all nurture, but mostly nature. His works inspired the research of both Wing and Asperger. Hans Asperger was born on February 18, 1906 in Vienna, Austria. He worked as a psychologist during the reign of Nazi Germany, and in 1938 he released his paper, The Psychologically Abnormal Child, in which he detailed his observations of a small group of children which he believed to be autistic, and found common ground within the groups. This paper created the first guideline for identifying symptoms of autism, which was a major part of the works of Lorena Wing. His paper also was the first recorded case of high-functioning autism. Although Asperger was helping to identify autism, he was still following the guidelines of the Nazi regime. Going into World War II, Asperger was against labeling children due to many different factors, and he didn't want to jump to conclusions. But the same year that Nazi soldiers invaded Austria, Asperger created the term autistic psychopathy. He also sent 35 children to the Nazis, calling them hopeless, uneducatable, or unemployable. This sent the children to a death sentence. He even took two children to the Germans himself. Often when finishing his lectures, he would say, Hail Hitler, and frequently spoke about racial hygiene. Although Hans Asperger did some truly despicable things, his paper helped to distinguish autism in Nazi Germany, saving many lives from false classification. But when it comes to the work of the two scientists, it did little more than inspire the works of a much more influential, important researcher, Lorana Wing. Lorna Wing, born October 7, 1928, was an English psychiatrist heralded for her advancements not only in the field of science, but also supportive institutions for parents of autistic children in the autistics themselves. Lorna Wing invented the Triad of Impairments, a system for defining and identifying the basic traits of one with autism. 
this triad consisted of three impairments, social, communicational, and a need for repetition in their actions and daily routines. These three traits helped to push research of autistic people much further, as it made identification of those suspected to be mentally ill substantially quicker, along with making the process of explaining autism to those who are uninformed much simpler. By making autism easier to digest for those who don't have experience with autistic or an advanced understanding of psychology, children with autism were more likely to be seen as understood as autistic rather than dismissed as drug addicts or misbehaving children. She was a genius by noticing, noticing the link between a lack of pretend playing and autism, noting it as a newly discovered symptom as something separate of her triad. She also helped society realize that autism was more common than they realized, and stated that autism was affecting 1 in 500 people and not the 1 in 2500 that was currently believed to be true. She later introduced Asperger's work to the English-speaking science community, skyrocketed their knowledge of autism. Understanding of the autistic mind is taking great leaps of progress, from the Middle Ages to Eugene Bleuler, all the way to today. Leo Kanner pinpointed autism as a separate disorder. Hans Asperger analyzed different subcategories of autism, and Lorna Wing identified how to find autism with her three different base classifications and define the spectrum that autism lays on. By identifying the disorder, finding ways to diagnose it, and supporting help efforts, the actions of Leo Kanner, Hans Asperger, and Lorna Wing have revolutionized how society and the medical field view ASD. Each one of them had their own respective research, but they built off each other, furthering the understanding of autism and breaking through the barriers of misunderstanding that surrounded it.